This is the site of Iceni Brewery, but also it is the main site for the cooperative. The East Anglian Brewers Cooperative is a cooperative of 38 small and medium-sized breweries in the East Anglian region. We got together because we were having a lot of difficulty selling our beer and we were competing a lot with each other in the available pubs that could take microbrewery beers. So we set out on an enterprise to make a new market for our beers and to give our beers a premium position in that market so that we could uh, uh, survive as small businesses and we could survive together and we could let more people join uh, and become brewers in the region because there was um, a great interest in, uh, from other people to, to uh, join in and to brew in the region. We are secondary co-op, that means that we all remain as independent businesses within the co-op and then we do things together that are advantageous to us all. What happens on this side is that we bring in the materials, particularly the bottles, caps and packaging and the malt that other members will need to use. Some of our members are quite small and don't have vans to move large pallets of bottles at a time and prefer to come and, and take them in boxes away in their cars and in their small vans. So we are able to bring the benefits of, of buying in bulk. So we buy 52 pallets of bottles for example at a time and then they're spread out over the members. Some of them take them away in dozens at a time and some take them away in pallets at a time. In 2002 we got together to form the cooperative because we wanted to have a more formal structure so the things that we wanted to achieve by then was that we wanted to get our own malt supply so that we could show our beers to be of premium quality and to use the best ingredients. To show that we needed to be able to have full traceability of where our malt was coming from. We were told by the malsters that that wasn't something that they could give to us because they produced on such a big scale that all the farmers that fed into them got mixed together and uh, we couldn't actually pinpoint the region or the area or the farm which our materials came from. We were keen to do this and uh, we set out then to form, first of all to form a cooperative so we would have a, a structure by which we could uh, then go and buy and uh, negotiate on behalf of our members. So that got set up in 2002 and in 2003 then we were, we were able to approach the farmers to hold the malt on the farm and not let it go, to go forward into the large systems so that we could have um, access to it and then with the we're working along with uh, Chris Maltings at Rybra who, had, who still had a small scale floor maltings available we were able to get our quite small requirement of barley malted and put back through the uh, co-op for the members to use. We've now got traceability down to a fine art and uh, they can go onto the farm that grows the barley, Brant Hill Farm at Wells Next to the Sea, and buy the beers because to complete the circle, the farmer agreed to set up a shop and uh, he's now got a very successful real ale shop. I'm a tenant farmer on the Holcombe estate and we started this diversification three years ago and it's totally connected to the core business of the farm which is growing malting barley and that uh, we have been doing for many years and many farmers before us and this area is one of the top three places on the planet for growing the crop. So that is how we came to being in conjunction with the East Anglian Brewers Association producing malt. So having produced malting barley for many, many years, we then realised that the crop was not paying very well, farming in its downward trends. And I realised there was a market, a niche market, for these guys who want the very best of the best. And so with Brendan Moore, uh, chairman of the East Anglian Brewers Association, we worked in conjunction with him. And using the local floor maltings, we now, with the farm's prime malting barley, can supply a totally traceable product. So traceable that one of the brewers even puts the grid reference of the field on the back of the bottle.
we knew we, there was going to be uh, difficulties, particularly if we if we stayed in the area where we naturally competed, like to try and gain access to the pubs or to uh, have our beers on in, in the pubs. That's why we sit on the, sat on the strategy of developing completely new markets uh, to sell the beer where it never had been sold before, in farmers markets and farm shops and tourist attractions. So we encouraged our members to bottle their beers and to present them into these new markets. These new marks are a lot different than in the pubs and because they like to have a lot of variety on different products in the shops to make the shops a good shop for buying beer in. So it wasn't a case of competing directly with the other brewers. If we cooperated together and filled the shops with a great variety of interesting beers that made the shops work better for the shopkeepers and also give us a chance to cooperate, deliver together to the shops, present beers to the same standard and with the same history like where the barley comes from and the great region we have here for growing malted barley. We were able to display all that together as a common feature of the beer. The barley starts its life planted in the autumn, over winters, grows throughout the spring and is harvested in August and then kept in the dry in, in the barn. Sometimes it's dried, it has to be dried to, to, for long-term storage. And then it goes to the local floor maltings, just a lorry load at a time, at a batch. And from there, it goes in bags. It is now malt to the brewers. And the East Anglian Brewers Association then share this malt out amongst the brewers uh, to give them the provenance of their main ingredient. In these new markets, the more, the more breweries there was, the better it was. The more we, we could all sell. Unlike when we sold into a pub, if we uh, managed to get our beers in there first before another brewery, then they were locked out for that week and uh, they, they couldn't come and join us because we had taken the pump for that week. But with, I mean, when you have a look at Teddy's shop, you'll see all the beers are displayed together and equally around the, sh the shops and that makes the attraction for the customer. We stumbled into this retail really with the idea coming on a visit to a vineyard in California where one of my sons works and he said if they with their very short history can produce these wines and sell from the vineyard. Why can't we in Norfolk do something where we've got hundreds of years of history with the crop, do a similar thing with the malt and the barley? And that got the thought processes going. We came back, we talked to Brendan and said, look, you know I produce this very good quality barley. Is there something we can do together here and join up the food chain? and help you guys at the same time and give you an extra selling point. And Brendan was very keen and we started with 20 something ales and six brewers. Now we have 50 ales from 15 brewers. And uh, the idea has really taken off. And we've proved that when the customer comes to the farm, he likes buying the beer from the farm which produced the barley, just like visiting a vineyard. The, the co-op itself, uh, it trades not to make a profit but to put all the, the earnings it gets back into helping the other breweries. But the, um, the shops have a healthy turnover and the, the real ale shop uh, has over £120,000 worth of turnover after two years just selling beer off the farm. And that's equal to uh, about half the turnover of the farm and the farm is quite a large farm the North Norfolk coast. So he's very pleased with that diversification from his business and we are very pleased with the amount of business that goes through it.